All right, so we're going to go through all the steps that uh, to set up Socialite. Now we have installed it. Now we're going to start setting it up. From this configuration, remember I am here on Laravel Docs 5.6 Socialite. If you're not on 5.6, you want to pull up to this place and select 5.6. Now this, uh, what I'm teaching works from 5.4, um, 5.4, 5.5, and 5.6, all right? So here we are. We'll scroll a little down and right here we'll go to config services and then we we'll paste this all right so i'm copying this uh, right now we will add facebook uh first so we have um in config i'm seeing services file and this is what we have so right underneath here i'm just going to paste this as you can see laravel already has some that they have specified for you so mine is um a facebook So, um, oops. So I'm just gonna change these guys to Facebook. So once I have it in Facebook, we're good to go. Now uh, we'll come back and also update this. Uh, but we're coming. The next step we're gonna do or uh, follow is the routing. Uh, we're going to have to go to login controller and import socialite. So we'll go to our login controller. Remember where it is if you. Uh, coded Laravel before you know that login controller is inside the app folder inside HTTP inside controllers inside auth you have login controller so the first thing we do is to import socialite all right the next thing we do is to add these two functions so our login controller needs to have these two functions so I'm copying these two functions here copy then I'll go to our login controller maybe it's anywhere underneath this just before the closing uh, tag here I'll just add um paste the two functions all right I've pasted them so there are two functions we have this and then we have this okay as you can see we are dealing with um, Facebook not github for now we can do github later or you can do it on yours once you understand how this whole thing goes all right so um there we have uh, what we're looking for Facebook and then we're expecting uh, this is supposed to pull stuff from Facebook and give us so right now uh, instead of just talking let us uh, see if we can get name first all right so so far we're good the next thing we're gonna do is to get back and we need to create the routes there are two routes we have to create the first route uh, points to the uh, redirect provider controller uh, action that we just created and the second route points to the handle provider all right so we're going to copy it and put in our routes file i'll copy then i'll go to my code and uh find somewhere here uh routes web.php so uh, anywhere in the routes file for me i'll just put this is underneath so anywhere in the routes file we have these guys basically so we're going to make sure we're not working with github for now so we're working with uh facebook so um so far we're good to go now we just want to make sure uh that the url the callback url that we're dealing with is here so i'm just gonna copy this and paste in the services this is the callback url we're looking for okay we're good to go all right, uh, you know, normally this is supposed to be HTTP uh, local host. It's supposed to be this way. But when you host your site and you use this, it might not work. So we need to use a relative or. But first of all, let's work with uh, this first. When it works, we can come back and remove this and see if a related URL will work. All right. So now we're done. We're done setting up this. Uh, the next thing we have to do is to actually head to Facebook a special section of facebook so that we can get the client id and the client secret once we get this to we'll add it here and then uh we will go to the front end and create the facebook login button all right thank you very much see you in the next video